All right, I am back here with another video for you guys. Today, I just kind of wanted to show off a little bit of uh, things that I've been working on with organization. Uh, one of the things that you encounter when you're programming in a, uh, a language like Java, JavaScript, etc., is uh, you know you have the ability to make little methods and functions and use comments uh, or self-describing code to kind of learn or you know be able to come back and say okay this is what I was trying to do here. Now for Disney Infinity we're not granted a lot of the same luxury. We don't have comments. Uh, we don't have the ability to name functions anything like that. So what I needed to do since this was getting sort of a, a larger scale even for a simple game is make my own sort of organization system. Given that this is a quiz color game, uh, I went ahead and organized my setup area uh, by color. So this area deals entirely with the red question section. Uh, these are the questions that can be asked for red. questions that can be asked for red. Uh, they are answered by the color red when you so this area deals with them. These are the different logic gates. Each of these logic gates correlates with a question. It's closed so that the question cannot be asked more than one time in a row. So I had to uh, this area deals with resetting just the red gates, this particular gate here. Since it was kind of off, to, off on its own and I didn't really know what it did, I wanted to give it a comment section. And I do that with a trigger area and some text boxes. So when this particular thing, I'll call it, um, for correlation's sake, I'm going to call it a method or a function. When this is encountered, uh, it sends signals to one, two, three, four, five logic gates to open. And that's sort of like a master control. Uh, I use it right now almost just to kick off. Uh, the challenge. So when the challenge is started, I say throw some input into this guy to reset the red gates. And that makes all the questions available to be asked again. I do the same kind of thing with the yellow gates, the blue gates, the white gates, and the green gates. Alright. Some other things that I do, uh, I have this thing here. This is a close all answer gates. This is important because we only want one of these gates open at a particular time so that the score can be incremented. Uh, actually, two, a pair of the gates. So this gate and this gate should be open when a green question is asked so that they can send a signal to the score incrementer, depending on whether it's player one or player two that scored, to get a point. However, when it's a blue question, we want these gates shut, as well as all of the other gates to be shut. So we have this master thing, this master switch we'll call it, and it goes ahead and closes all the gates for us, and then when a question is asked, let's say when a particular, uh, let's see if we have one to a text box, probably do. Okay, so when any text is displayed, we go ahead and send a open to this gate and to this gate. That tells it to uh, open up and be ready to accept an answer uh, for a green, green question. Whoa. Moving on, we have sort of the same kind of thing. These are locks that have a particular task, right? So this is start the trigger area control. What this does is control whether or not the yellow caution area located above, when the player steps in it, if it's actually going to uh, sense that they're there and start a new question off, or if it's not, if it's going to close the uh, signal lock. This one deals with resetting all the primary logic gates. That is, if a particular uh, for the last game, if all the white questions were exhausted and the gate closed, but we want to make sure that the white gates are open, the yellow gates are open. When we start a new game, we want all those gates open. Uh, so this control block takes care of that. 
this one resets the counters. Same thing as the logic gates. Uh, we have a counter associated with these mini gates to say, okay, how many questions have we exhausted from this category? When we've exhausted all the questions from the category, we close the logic gate. Uh, so we want these, uh, when this, this is set to, when we get to five, when this counter reaches five, to close the gate because that's how many questions we have. When we start a new game, we want not only to win all of these gates open, but we want this counter reset to zero so that we're not uh, closing off this, er this selection of questions too early. These two gates, to, or these far two logic gates, deal with wooden doors. These are close all wooden doors and open all wooden doors. The why, the why they're organized like this is, there's, a, there's several things in the game that I want to open and close the doors. So instead of having to have each individual one of those make 10 connections to close the doors or open the doors, I can just send one input signal to close all wooden doors and it'll take care of that for me. This kind of gives me a uh, easy to scale, minim minimizing the number of connections I'm going to need uh, for those kind of things. Now, saying minimize the number of connections I'm going to need and looking over this vast field of connections, you may go, ha! But uh, that's how that works, and uh, I figured that would be a fair way to organize it. Finally, this section is prevent two wrong answers. Uh, what this does is it controls uh, the ability to reach the penalty or the reward area uh, for a question that has already been answered. So if a yellow question is answered, uh, either correctly or incorrectly, the appropriate uh, things kick off. The enemies are generated, uh, you're blown out of the gate area, the gates close, and then this gate also closes at the same time. That keeps us from hitting the trigger and either getting two points for the same right answer or getting the right answer and then accidentally stepping on the wrong answer gate after that and getting penalized after already getting the right answer. So that's the prevent two wrong answers uh, gate. Uh, little things like this, this is the wind tunnel thing. This will, uh, this is what I use as a workaround to keep a player from getting caught within the gates that block off the answer triggers. Uh, if he gets it wrong, I want to remove him and push him back to the end of the stage before I lock the gates and spawn the enemy. This was sort of my workaround for doing that, was just setting this off, and then after one second, I think, I turned, the, I turned it back off and spawned some enemies. So that's the explanation of how I have all these things set up. Uh, these things are just kind of standard toys. Uh, you know, don't allow the wand while the game is active. Um, give them a set of packs and tools. So that's another topic, but let's go ahead and we'll start the game off and let's get a, get a look at with all this uh, logic and gating and all those kind of things uh, get us. And you may be surprised because it's actually a relatively simple game, uh, but to make it work right, to not have bugs and to not let it get off track, uh, we need all those things to kind of control the flow of the game. So let's do one a right answer first. What color is Cookie Monster's fur? Answer the correct answer, which is blue, if you didn't know. Now that I've already answered, uh, these are deactivated, so have no enemies are spawned. Uh, no wind blows, the gates don't close on them. Alright, so we've seen what happens when we get a right answer. Now let's see uh, what happens when we get a wrong answer. So let's answer blue again. We, like, we think that there are blue turtles. We're blown out of the area. We don't get a new question when we step in the caution area. And we're now attacked by droids. yellow caution area for a new question. Alright, so let's get back on track. Mickey Mouse's gloves, those are white, so let's go ahead and answer correct. And that's the general flow of the game. There's not much to it really, right? I mean, this is a very simple game, but it required uh, a lot of logic connections, 
a lot of organization uh, just to make work.